A wheelchair user from West Yorkshire who could not travel on a bus because a mother with a child's buggy refused to move from the wheelchair space has taken his case to the Supreme Court today. Doug Pawley, who comes from Weatherby, has fought the case since 2012 and it could have big implications for bus and train companies. Charlotte Leeming has the story. It's been dubbed the battle between the wheelchair and the buggy. It started in Weatherby four years ago and today it reached the Supreme Court in London. In 2012, Doug Pawley tried to catch a bus to Leeds, but a woman with a pushchair was in the wheelchair space and she refused the driver's request to move. Doug was left on the curbside. Their baby was asleep in the pushchair and they didn't want to wake the baby up. So I was unable to get on the bus. I was told to get off the bus and wait for the next one. Doug Pawley sued the bus company First Group and the court agreed that its policy of requesting, not requiring, able-bodied people to move was unlawful discrimination. But that was reversed by the Court of Appeal, who said there's no legal requirement for drivers to move other passengers from the wheelchair space. Where can you put the pushchair? I wouldn't do that, but I can see why people would. Our worst enemies are the drivers who actually don't try to enforce the priority space. If you can't travel or you're put off travelling, you become isolated. This is the first disability discrimination case involving service providers to be heard by the Supreme Court. And whatever they decide here, First Group insists their policy works well, just as it is. Our drivers will ask a passenger in the strongest, politest way they can to move and we train them to do so. The judgment in this case is due by the end of the year. If Doug Pawley wins it, it will have huge implications for bus companies across the country. They will have to put in place policies and clear guidelines for their drivers to ensure that wheelchair users are guaranteed a space on the bus and that if able-bodied passengers are in that wheelchair space, they will be made to move. Charlotte Leeming, BBC Look North.